I'm out in Florida taking care of some business with real estate and stuff. And uh, so I wanted to jump on here and just talk direct to you guys for maybe the next 15 minutes or so and uh, just kind of paint a picture, I guess. Um, I know a lot of you have been getting bits and pieces. I've got a little bit of a, a better viewpoint since I am under a non-disclosure where I've been able to peek through and kind of watch how Empower Me has been coming together. And uh, let me just kind of lay a foundation here for just a second and paint a picture, if you will, because I want to peek into the future with you and just kind of show you what things are going to look like in the future for all of us, because it's going to blow your mind. First of all, we're in a spot I don't think anyone ever thought we'd be in. You know, post-COVID, you look back at the, the landscape and, and who had ever predicted that deal, right? And it's interesting because I remember about three years ago when we sat down and started to formulate what Empower Me and AI would look like, and Craig Bryson was painting this, this vision. I remember Ryan Napierski said his prediction would be that within three to five years, there would be several companies that would go out of business if they don't embrace AI. And true to form, here we are at this moment, there are 10 companies in our industry circling the drain. Um, they were all 500 million to billion dollar operations. There's one that's a staple in our industry that's teetering right now because they carry so much debt. A lot of these companies are borrowing money to pay commissions, not us. We've invested you know, hundreds of millions of dollars into an AI upgrade and, and tech capability, okay? You look at that and you say, okay, well, what's so great about that? Well, the company we're working with that's upgraded us because this is not an internal upgrade, okay? Is the a, is a same company that upgraded Apple, same company that upgraded Nike. They, they select a specific uh, company in a specific market, okay? With us, it's health and wellness. So what that means is no one in the network marketing industry is going to be able to work long term with these guys because it's a it's a long term uh, business arrangement. Right. And they're the ones that have done the tech upgrade. All the algorithms are written. Basically, everything's in place. OK, they're navigating right now the legal aspects, the privacy issues, all of that, just to make sure all of our eyes are dotted and T's are crossed. And so they've set the stage. And I don't think anyone can really appreciate all the back work, uh, back office work that's gone into this. It's absolutely crazy. A lot of time invested by leadership as well that are uh, in the field, along with corporate people. And they're laid this foundation. Now it's starting to leak out, right? Ryan and Steve and, and uh, Joe Super did a, a Zoom a few weeks ago. They started to kind of lay a foundation. Let's kind of roll forward here because I know you've gotten bits and pieces. You've seen some of the Zooms I've done. So you get an understanding a little bit about what's going on. Let me kind of roll the clock forward for just a second. And let's say peek into the future. Let's say a year from now or approximately a year from now when this all gets turned on because that's what's rumored to happen. I can't give you a date or I would. Okay, but let's say that a year from now this all gets turned on. What does that mean? Well, right now, we've got the Vera app, and you, most of you have that on your phone. I suggest you get that on your phone because as this system gets turned on, the AI system, okay, Vera will become the portal of the company. That'll be the way that you go through to get your information, to communicate, all of that. We'll no longer call New Skin, okay? Everyone's going to just write in the palm of their hand, be able to do their business. And as, as we turn this thing on, here's how the world is going to look, all right? Now, right now, we're recruiting like crazy in a pre-positioning window, in a ground floor window prior to launch. Now, I've, you've heard my story before. There's been several opportunities I've taken advantage of globally. Thailand was a big one for me. As we positioned before the market opened, 5,000 people got trained in our group the first day. By the end of the month, that turned into 30,000 distributors, and the rest is history. And you might say, well, what's that all about? Well, you got to take action before the masses do, period, especially if you have inside information. Well, you're getting inside information right here, okay? When we turn this on in about a year from now, you're going to see millions of assessments flood the market as everyone wants to get their DNA tested. And as I've said before, the DNA thing is just one biomarker. There's a whole bunch of biomarkers New Skin will actually be able to measure and test and give us information. See, we're shifting to an information-driven uh, business, okay, as AI becomes an information-driven economy. And they're saying the shift from the economy we now know, which has been ushered in by the Industrial Revolution and has now become a digital thing, right? As it shifts to AI, 
That shift to an AI-capable economy is a $15 trillion shift. What that means is, okay, that's the low number. That shift, if it's accurate, and it will be, is larger than the shift that we went from you know back in the day to the Industrial Revolution. So my point to you and I is this, I don't think we'll ever see a shift in our lifetime that dramatic to position in front of it. Well, uh, you know, these guys have some guts because they've bellied up to the bar. They've invested 500 million. It'll eventually be 700 million of investment to upgrade our tech upgrade with an AI capable understanding. Now, what does that mean? Well, this is what the world looks like in about a year from now. Let's say that I'm recruiting you right now. You know what I'll do? I'll just give you a quick call. I'll say something like, hey, you know what? You're hearing about artificial intelligence. It's taken over the world. I don't know if you're positive or negative on it. Doesn't matter. It's going to take over the world. I'm going to send you a quick video. You won't believe what we're doing. We've invested $700 million in, in an AI upgrade that will blow your mind. Check it out. Boom. I send it to you. You look at it. A few minutes later, I, hey, I'll call you back with my partner. Call my up, up line. We get on the phone with you and we fill in some of those gaps. You say, hey, this looks good to me. All I do is pu push the Vera app. There's a share button. I send it to you. You activate it. And now you're part of my downline. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, now... You can be a customer or a distributor. It just depends what it is you're looking to do. But boom, now you're into the system. And here's what I envision will take place. Because of this talk about you know, creating this digital twin and creating the perfect you, this 360 degree you know, computer generated image. Okay, let's say that's you. And here you are right here. And all of a sudden, you wanna get the information into the system so we can build that model for you that uh, digital twin. And so you take the DNA assessment, boom, you send it in. Back comes the information right to your cell phone. Now here's the thing, and this is what I want you guys to understand because this is where you gotta get your, your thinking caps on a little bit. Some of you are used to doing things certain ways, me too. I look at it and I say, you know what? What I've learned over the course of my time in this business, the more streamlined you can be, the more straight, point from point A to point B, you can become with the most duplicatable track to go with, that's when the army moves. That's when the masses move. And that's where magic happens, okay? And so what happens is, it's as simple as just sharing the Vera app. So I share the Vera app with you, you go over there and authenticate it, and all of a sudden, boom, you order your assessment, which is a product. And you're gonna see all kinds of, of digital products that can measure various biomarkers from cognitive to our gut, to you name it. Okay, you're gonna see the, the uh, wellness spa come out here shortly, probably in the third quarter. Okay, that thing is unbelievable. I've had a chance to test it, things with pain, eliminating uh, toxins through the lymph system, in and also body shaping that women are crazy about. That's a game changer. That thing is also a body mapping device. As we run it over the body, that information is now fed into your digital twin, and it tells us a lot about this. Now, as you think about this, I want you to understand this is a whole new mechanism for the way we do business. This is about information driven. And what I said to Steve Hatchett a few months ago, I said, Steve, as I analyze what's going on here with this AI upgrade, we're in a couple years going to look more like Apple than what New Skin looks like today. And he says, you're absolutely right. And then he read me a quote by Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. And what Tim says in his quote is this. He says, at the end of the day, Apple won't be remembered for iPhones, iPads, and Mac computers. We'll be remembered for the effect that we have on health. So Apple's moving our direction. We're moving theirs. And we're AI capable. Now, what does that mean? You've heard a little bit, okay, about Mia. Mia is my intelligent assistant. That's what it stands for, okay? My intelligent assistant. And Mia is smarter than anyone on this call right now. Mia will gain more and more capability as time goes on. And so what happens is, is I send you that Vera app, you authenticate it, you send in your DNA, and boom, it comes back, Mia contacts you. And what Mia does is in the analysis of your DNA, it talks to, to you and says, hey, you know what, Bill? We've noticed that you've got deficits here, here, and here. We've created your digital twin. 
this is where you should be. You're currently here. We recommend these products. And as we recommend those products, you start to order those products. So Mia sells the products. We'll have subsequent, you know, tests or assessments to show the efficacy of those products and we'll show the benefit and the increase to the point where Bill now becomes the same as his digital twin. This is a retention tool. This is where we have all that information. This binds the customer to us. But more importantly, Mia does the heavy lifting. Mia does the selling, okay? Mia does the training. For example, let's say Bill wants to be a distributor and Bill wants to know something about the compensation plan. In the old days, I'd get on the phone with Bill, we'd grind it out or we'd meet. We can still do that if we want, or he can talk to Mia anytime he wants to, and she can fill in all the gaps and lay out the compensation plan. If he has a question about recruiting, guess what? Mia can tell him how that operates. Now I can be there as a resource, and I probably will, but you know what? Why would you want Mia as, as the foundation for your business? Well, the reason you want Mia is because Mia doesn't have to change diapers. Mia doesn't have to eat. Mia doesn't sleep. Uh, Mia doesn't get distracted. Mia doesn't take days off. Mia operates on a 24-hour clock around the world, right? And so as your business expands around the globe, Mia can service your business and help it grow when you're asleep. So in essence, what we're creating here with the Empower Me Foundation is the capacity to make the business more streamlined, to make it faster, to make it more efficacious, to make it something where you look at it and you say, oh my gosh, this AI brain can take over and help supplement my business in a way that I can't because me is not a person. Me is a computer generated thinking system that has far greater capability than any one of us. And so you look at that and you come to understand what we've embraced here You've been hearing about it in the future, but I want you to know it's no longer in the future. It's here right now, okay? It's here now. It's built right now. And we're just navigating the legalities before we turn it on. And my point to you is this. If you know what I know and I've given you some of that information, you'd take serious action right now to build your team as fast as you can and get as many people right now from where they're at to Team Elite or Blue Diamond, okay, or Team Elite within the time frame between now and the time we turn it on. You know why? Because once we turn this on, it's going to be a wave that rips through the marketplace that sends us into an unbelievable momentum curve. We're already seeing upticks right now. See, right now we're looking for the, the innovator and the early adopter, the visionaries, okay, and those people will move before all the masses do. As this thing turns on, the masses will move the early majority, the late majority, the laggards kick in, and it sends things into momentum. Well, it's like an insider stock tip. Would you rather buy the stock when it's a penny stock? Would you rather buy it when it's 100 a share? Obviously, you'd want it in a penny stock position because that increases your profitability. That's what we have here. But all you're doing is laying a foundation with people. Guys, I'm not hyping you right now. What I've just told you is absolutely true. Mia exists. I have heard her voice. We have talked to her, all right? And here's the thing. It's a cognitive interchange. The more you talk to Mia, the more information she gets. The more information she gets, the smarter she becomes. And so as time goes on, she knows every nuance about the business. She understands every intricacy of the products. She understands everything about the individual and their digital twin because all of that data, that information is in her memory bank. All right, and here we sit at the precipice of all of this. Now, this was stuff you just saw in movies a few years ago. Guys, it's here, and it's here now, and we've got first mover advantage. And here's the thing. Could another company in our industry try to do this? They might be able to, but they won't do it with the world leader that's built Apple and built Nike with the same infrastructure and ecosystem we have. We're the only guys they'll deal with in our industry, right? And you've got to have 500 to 700 million dollars to get in the game. What I'm trying to tell you is this. I don't think you and I will see an opportunity like this again. And I don't care what side of the business you're on. I don't care what mechanism you see. I'm here to tell you right now, we can recruit anyone with this. I've been doing it. 
I've been talking with people that wouldn't sneeze at us a few years ago, and they're all over this now. As the global recession sets in, it's gonna create more and more motivation for people to look around, and I'm telling you what, we're in the driver's seat. We're in a spot where we're gonna not just dominate this market, we're gonna pancake it. We are. I don't see anyone in our industry being able to hold a candle to us because they can't get in the game that we're in. And it'll become more apparent in a year. Some of you are sitting there saying, well, I'll wait and see. Yeah, you do that, all right? You wait and see. You watch what happens. We're gonna trump the industry. No one has an answer for this. This thing was planned when everyone else was running scared during COVID. The investment was being made. The strategy was being put in place. The brainchild was being created. And now you're gonna see the thing released in a fashion that's gonna blow your mind. Now don't be blown, position, take advantage of it. Understand right now what I'm telling you is the future is here, it's here now. Now you can wait six months or 12 months when they turn this on, or you can take action now and be positioned as that wave kicks in. Guys, I've been doing this for over 30 years. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything with the upside we have with clear sailing and blue sky like I've seen right now. It is absolutely crazy good. And I wish I could tell you everything else. I mean, there's a, an e-commerce side to this as well with 6,000 consumer goods that now come into the purview of our customer base that they can actually purchase like, just like they would on Amazon. Difference is you get commissioned. So you've created a 24 hour a day money making transaction machine that never sleeps. It doesn't eat, it never takes time off and it just, does its thing around the clock on a 24 hour basis. That's the business. And you want a position right now to take advantage of it. Man, I'm excited. I could hardly sleep anymore. I'm enjoying Florida. I'm gonna be back in Utah on Thursday and we're just cranking it out. I hope you are too. I hope this has woken you up in some fashion. I hope, because I want you to understand We'll never see this again. There'll never be a pre-positioning window in front of an AI-capable company like NewSkin as we not only transform who we are, but transform the industry and put it on, put it on its ear. And hey, again, I had someone ask me the other day, they said, Jeff, you talked about a 50 to $60 billion valuation with NewSkin. Hey, when you understand what's happening here and this AI shift creates different parameters than what we've dealt with before, yeah, I'm talking that type of valuations possible for us when you understand where we're headed and the breadth and the embrace that we have out there in the marketplace like we've never had before. The sky's the limit. I hope you see it. I hope you take advantage of it. I hope this wakes you up. I hope you get busy. You got to call everyone you know and you got to do it right now. I am. I am. I promise you I am. Let's take advantage of it. Appreciate your time. Thanks for tuning in. Great way to start the week. Let's go tear it up.